morning Africa, good morning Tanzania, good morning Uganda. I am Peter Sander Shoke, the line minister of culture, clans mobilization and gender. In Toro Kingdom, western of Uganda. I'm trying to answer some questions by media fraternity that what is the culture doing to assist the local communities this is a we a wish to say that culture is not assisting the local communities or assisting the countries culture is mandatory and culture is in diversity of different cultures created by the almighty god the omnipresent the unknown but known by our former 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 ancestors who started this earth there was direct links with god through the obvious the creation the environment on earth on the ground in the sky and higher higher if you would imagine the 93 point something miles million away from the earth to up there so in the space and on the ground and beneath there should be something which is having the power and that power spread to none other than man so god gave power to man to create other things and to name them this even is in the instructions of the genesis book of the bible and other books like the quran and others so in that imagination there should be something basically to base on I want to applaud the government of Uganda under the leadership of uh, His Excellency General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni and his team and his team rather I recall in the 10 point program of restoration of peace in the country which reinstated cultural institutions you remember that in Uganda and some other countries I don't know cultural kingdoms were abolished by the past regimes and when the government of NRM of his excellency M7 came into power shortly after two months they contemplated to restore cultural institutions in the lane of the government central government operations they look or they see it very easy to disseminate any kind of message to the local communities because the cultural institutions is key from the room to the sitting room the entire house and the homestead then go outside all that is culture the way you sleep is culture we don't stand <laughs> when you feel sleeping you don't stand when you feel tired you sit when you meet a elder you kneel to greet when you dream you have to interpret the dream those are the ancestors talking to you when you go in the dining there is a culture how you eat culturally to where you belong when you have to go out you have that uh, omen i uh, rather omen oh i'm not well oh i have hit a stone oh oh i have met a, a girl why will this journey be good so there's those internal consultations within you and that is culture so culture is dynamic you will love it or hate it but that is culture to summarize in this one the burial 
activities. There are always rituals there. As per cultural segmentation. The birth of children. There are some many things done when a child is born. As per the culture's uh, alignment. So everything, you walk by culture, you eat by culture, you talk by culture, you dance in culture, you speak in culture, you recite everything in culture. So this is what Uganda has gained now for the last close now 30 years, actually 28, 30 years now, since the restoration of cultural institutions. A lot, a lot of things have been achieved. And the government is assisting cultural institutions. Some recognized kingdoms, the government uh, gives in money direct for operalization. And uh, the cultural chiefs and kings, eh, the government gives them some uh, facilitations like vehicles, motorcycles, eh, uh, reproductive assistances in the health sector. Uh, in education also, they give bursaries in line with the country, uh, the cultural institution setting, and they are fully recognized at any big or small function. They are mandated to exercise and exhibit their cultural decisions or under the king's court. This is singing the cultural institution uh, what is this anthem? Hmm? The sitting of a chief or a, a minister or a county chief of a particular institution is fully recognized. The, cult the cultural institutions also are involved in authenticating the marriage. We have certificates which is very legal. We accept late. Mr. Abdallah, take Shamim. Culturally, we have also accepted. Let Paul take Beatrice. We culturally accept. We even sign certificates. So that one, in reference of any mayhem or commotion in families, they assist on reference that the dowry was also given to parents. So this girl or this man is legally recognized in the family. Then they forward you to the region or whatever if you wish. So these are the things which we achieve. And once more, or lastly, in the past years, not far beyond our, uh, our generation, kings were owners of uh, many, many properties. Because the whites, when they came as a, a way of colonization, they used their mode or systems to see how they could dominate Africa. So these whites had to cut off some land for kings. They legalized them or gazette them for them, others with titles, others not. So kings were empowered in terms of income and development uh, part of it. So, a king must be, uh, a king or a chief must be respected in that line So by having wealth. What do they do? You cannot lead the people. You are a chief, <laughs> but you are toying. You have no even a motorcycle. You can be, not be a parish chief. You don't have even a bicycle. So that would empower the culturists huh, to own properties also as mandated by the king. I wish to say that uh, uh, we try to amalgamate all these into one system to have advocacy on one level to another. We can also liberate our own cultures and our belongings. So I thank you so much, whoever is listening or whoever is viewing, to see that we can always come up to advocate and uphold and sh share the same to everywhere to see that we can jealously keep our legacy as far 
as God our creator is concerned. Good time. Thank you.